uh, it gives us objective criteria, but it also allows patients to do things much sooner. Um, so they're able to do a running program a little bit earlier. Uh, I think we can progress patients faster. It helps with patients' motivation. Uh, they're able to do something here that they can't do at other places, which is a, is a major advantage for us. Uh, so it ensures that they're going to come back and keep doing it, especially if they are a diehard you know, runner or somebody that needs a cardiovascular fix. So I think, I think it really helps our rehab program on multiple accounts. can start them maybe at about 15, 20 percent body weight, gradually increase it to a third, half body weight, 60 percent, so their joint gets used to the stresses um, as far as some of the progression. Um, right now, you know, personally I'm kind of locked in that you would do this before you run on dry land, and that's our almost our test to see if your joints can withstand the force. So we start you at a third and go 50 percent, 75 percent. Once we go 75% body weight, then we put you on dry land. If I didn't have that progression, I would have to almost guess or have a leap in faith that they were able to do it. Whereas here, it gives me objective criteria. Once you fulfill that progression with weight bearing, I know it's safe for you to start running on dry land and your joint's not gonna be irritated, swelling, get sore, things of that nature. So it's my precursor or my criteria to start a running program for patients. Uh, one, uh, one is I think it helps us as far as clinicians to be sure that it's safe to go to the next step. But two is if you do go to the next step and there's a problem, uh, at least you have a foundation established for why you progress the patient. So if they have a problem, at least you had criteria. Uh, and the third component is probably with payers. Insurance companies are, are want or, or desire criteria before going back to work or sport or something like that. So you're not just time-based, but it's individualized-based protocols, but also criteria uh, foundations. Mm -hmm.